All right, guys, I just wanted to upload a video of some work that I did on my Mossberg 930. I went ahead and been contemplating if I wanted to open up the loading port, and this is all my Mossberg disassembled, and thanks to Bullet McQueen, he gave me the confidence to do this. And uh, it turned out pretty hot. It looks looks pretty good. I mean, it's so smooth now. Um, let's see if I can get this thing closed. So I went up to Mossberg, North Haven, North Haven there, and that's what it looks like. It literally has a mirror shine to it, um, and it looks really, really good. Um, it literally took me about 50 minutes to do it. Um, this is what I used to polish it. I wish I would, my only regret is me actually doing this. I wish I would have actually videotaped myself doing this so you guys could see how I did it. But I'll give you a rundown real quick. Um, going to my garage here. It's not the cleanest. All right, give you a rundown of what I did. This is what I used right here. Little die grinder little little burr right there titanium burr um, I have a little bit of an advantage of a really nice compressor um, I started to use this and it sucked really bad took forever I didn't like using this at all so I was like screw that um, so I used this and then literally I got the vise okay and this is a cheap vise it's like a little baby mini vise and then I protected my uh, my my shotgun and I put these on the sides. I have two of these. Put it there and protect it on the bottom. And I got I got this here, and I literally just freehanded this like that, beveled it out. Okay. Um, what I wanted to to do originally is, if I was smart and a lot more patient, I wanted to get tape, and I wanted to get tape and just outline how far I wanted to go with it. So it looked really, really clean, and I was going to do this. Because I literally did all of that by freehand. Um, and it it turned out so nice. Uh, I mean, it's so smooth, too. So smooth. Um, but uh, I literally just got the die grinder, and I literally just bored all this out real, real nice all up the way up to North Haven there. And then what I did is I did get a file here, and I, I chewed at this a little bit. Uh, just because I like the angle that it had, and it was real, it was a true surface. This was a true surface, and the file was true. I wasn't trying to do it by hand and get like a a bevel in it, um, because I used to do collision repair, uh, so I'm, I'm pretty good with my hands. And uh, then what I did is once I got my shape here, real nice. Okay, um, then what I did is I got this little cheap um, wannabe dremel tool and i've actually had this thing for years i bought it at costco and this thing kicks butt man this thing's awesome so then what i did is i got um this i know it looks ghetto but it worked flawlessly this is actually um body sandpaper for um sanding a car 600 grit i literally wrapped it around and then there you'll see some tape what i did is i actually got just a little small piece of tape and i wrapped it around there so this thing doesn't spin off so when you turn it on like that okay it's on now you can hear it um i literally got this and then i just worked on the inside of that uh, all the way around it got a real nice finish on it i this is 600 grit right here um 600 grit okay but i actually i did start off with what is it 220 i started off with 220 um and did the majority of it with 220 and then i came back with this 600 grit and then i to get the, the mirror finish on it, I literally just got that metal chrome polish and probably spent maybe five minutes polishing it by hand, and it came out that shiny, and it's because of the 600 grit that I used. But the thing that I really like of what I did here is that this thing is this thing right here is soft, so it's it, it gives a little bit. So it, it basically took the shape of what I was trying to push it against, and it really worked out really, really nice. Um... You guys may want to try it. The whole file thing, go for it. 
if, if that's what you got, you know. But if, if you are mechanically inclined, um, you can use this. The bad thing about this, I'm warning you right now, if you guys use this and you're not familiar with using it, this thing has is very aggressive, okay? This is a titanium bit, very aggressive. If you were to slip and this thing catches, it will go, and it'll basically run on you and basically walk down the gun and tear it up. So if you're going to use something like this, be no, just you need to make sure you know what you're doing because um, if you don't, you're going to hate me. But again, if you're confident and you know what you're doing, take your time with it and, and work work at it. Uh, for me to disassemble the gun, open the loading port, and polish it and everything, took me literally not even an hour. Uh, but again, uh, I am a little bit more mechanically inclined than some, not all. Um, but I'm con I was confident in doing this, and it and it turned out really, really good. Actually, I shot a shotgun match with this thing not too long ago, and, and there was a guy there that had his uh, port opened up, and it looked terrible. Um, and uh, I was asking him about it, and the guy told me that he had actually sent it off to a guy that supposedly just started off doing it. This is my very first one, and it looks like I've done this plenty of times. I mean, it looks sweet. But thanks to Bullet McQueen for that video that he did because I literally watched what he did and kind of just, you know, did it my own way. But thanks to him, he gave me the confidence to do this. Uh, if you're going to do it, go for it, guys. I mean, it, it actually looks better than, than, uh, than Factory. I mean, it looks really, really good. Even my wife was like, damn, what? So, but uh, I'm really looking forward to putting this thing back together. I have not modded my... Uh, the the grip thing there so I need to do that and modify it because I know now it's going to overhang but this is what my opening uh, my my uh, my loading port looks like now I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions give me a shout um, give me a comment and thumbs up the video if you like it and again this is it guys booyah and thanks again Bullet McQueen and I'm out super set give you a shout out Frank Proctor um, you guys are awesome peace